picture of this but so in the previous videos we have been uh, discussed regarding the classification of the camp so mainly it was been discussed uh, classified based on the one is the shapes so that we have been discussed the basic shapes what are the basic uh, shapes of the camp so when we have been discussed that so then next we have been discussed about the uh, motion of the follower how of the motion of the follower will be taking place between the camps and how what are the different types of uh, followers can able to be takes place between the camps and the followers so next we are going to say the uh, third one uh, third classification of the camps so as we know that camps is an rotating element which can able to transmit the motion from one form to uh, either uh, reciprocating to the oscillating so the function of the follower is to only to the follow the path of the camp so we are going to discuss about the third classification of the camps in this video so the third classification is a classification according to the manner of constraint of the follower so the classification according to the manner of the constraint of the follower is so these are about in a third classification again in this it has been classified into three categories one is preloaded spring cam then positive drive cam then again it's in a uh, gravity cam so these are the three types of cams so mainly in the classification regarding the uh, manner of constraint of the follower it has been classified into preloaded spring cam uh gravity cam and a positive drive cam so these are the three uh, types has been classified again so in this uh, the classification according to the manner of constraint of the follower is to produce exactly the motion transmitted by the cam to the follower it is necessary that the cam and the follower remains in a touch at all the speeds and at all the times so as we know that the cam and a cam and a follower will be continuously with a uh, contact so that is the reason either it might be in the lane contact or in a point contact so that is the reason here we have been considered as in a higher pair normally the higher pair the elements in the higher pair will be having either a lane or in a point contact so in a such a way that here also the continuous continuous contact between the cam and the follower should be there in order to transmit the any motion or to produce exactly the motion which is been produced by the cam it has to be transmitted through the follower only so hence the cam and the follower should be continuously contact between the uh, continuously contact should be there between the cam and the follower so at that time what happens due to the, some varying speeds or uh, increase or in the decrease speed at that time there is a chances of varying or the contact between these two elements may vary so in order to avoid those all those things the cam and the follower should be having in a continuous contact hence this type of an uh, cams has been used uh, in order to have in a continuous contact between the cam and an uh, follower so the cams again further it has been classified in the manner which is based on this type of the cams if you going to use that so it will be continuous it will be having in a continuous contact at all the speeds and all the time then only what the motion is transmitted by the cam should able to or it can able to uh, followed by uh, transmitted that motion from the follower so first we going to discuss about the preloaded cam so you can able to see that a preloaded compression uh, using a spring is used for in a purpose of keeping the contact between the cam and the follower mainly we can able to see this so this is a cam so this is an a cam which is uh, we can able to see it is in the red color which is an a cam and this is an a frame where it is and fixed the frame is fixed and the cam is attached to the frame where you can able to see this the cam shaft is rotating above the inside the cam so cam is rotating on the one particular direction we can able to see this blue is nothing but an a follower which is attached to the frame and in between the frame and the follower we can able to see as in a spring we call it as in a normal it is in a spring the it is a compression spring where the compression spring is nothing but where it holds or it gives a support in order to follow to uh, hold or to be in a continuous contact with the cam so it helps or it gives as in a this compression spring will be very helpful in order to give the continuous contact between the follower and the cam so yes that is a one of the major reason see now what happens when it is rotating so the follower has to be in a contact in order to transmit the motion or which is the motion is produced from the cam has to be transmitted through this follower only now if the follower is not able to come in a contact continuously uh, during the varying speeds so at the time what happens the fluctuation will takes place so in order to avoid that fluctuation so we have been used as in a spring so this spring has been connected to the frame so what happens is so the spring will be rigidly welded this follower in order to be in a contact with this cam so when the cam, cam is running at an, a different speed or varying speed so even though uh, at that conditions also this uh, spring compression spring will be compressed uh, this follower in order to should in order to have a continuous contact with the cam 
so at that time what happens so in order to be in a continuous with that cam so automatically the to reproduce the, the what the exactly the motion is provided from the produced from the cam it can able to be try easily transmitted through the follower so normally whenever we are transmitting any motion the both the element should be having a relative motion to each other so here the both the elements is one is cam and the follower which is the cam is producing the motion the follower the function of the follower is to transmit that motion so hence so this is the how we can able to use the preloaded spring uh, spring cam so here we are going to use as in a compression so in order to keep that continuous contact between the uh, cam and the follower right so next we will going to see about the positive dry cam so it is another type of in a cam where it is used as we know that uh, the cam and the follower should be in a continuous touch in order to transmit the motion so as we know that we have any different types of followers so based on the requirement we are going to use as in a different types of followers in order to transmit the motion which is been produced or which is been generated from the cam so what the positive dry cam is in this type constant touch between the cam and the follower is maintained by a roller follower you can able to see this is an a uh, cam where we can able to see the one groove so in that group the roller follower is been in contact with the this cam so this purposely this grooves are made in order to hold the or in order to have a continuous contact between this cam and this uh, roller follower so whenever we are using a roller follower the contact between the cam and the roller will be in the form of roller motion only so hence what happens so in this type constant touch between the cam and the follower is maintained by the roller follower so especially in this positive drive, uh, drive cam so the continuous or a constant touch between the cam and the follower will be maintained with the in the form of roller follower where this type of roller follower will be having in a continuous contact with this uh, in, in the form of groove so the follower cannot go out from the due under the normal working operation why this groove has been made is nothing but because of varying speeds or in a fluctuation the cam may be uh, miss the contact between the uh, follower and follower may miss the contact between the cam so at that time what happens when it is missing the contact between the two elements we can't able to transmit the motion which is provided so in such that time what happens the separately the groove is made in order to have a continuous contact uh, during the motion uh, transmitting of any motion so at that time what happens so the follower will continuously have a contact with the cam so in it can able to obtain an uh, operations which can able to be transmitted easily so that is the reason what we call this as an a positive dry or it is obtained in the form of conjugate cam so that is the reason so we call this as an a positive drive cam so next we will see as a another type of cam so next one is about the gravity cam so if the rise of the cam is achieved by the rising surface of the cam see if the cam if the rise means that is as you know that uh, the cam may be you can be identified in the rise return and in a dwell so dwell is nothing but in a rest position rise is nothing but it is moving position and the return is again it is coming back to the initial condition so if the rise of the cam is achieved by the rising surface if the rise of the cam is achieved by the rising surface of the cam then the return by the force is because of the gravity see uh, how this cam is uh, we used or how it cam is performed is so the rise means the initial take off will take because of the rising surface which is obtained from the cam and the return of that force is obtained because of the gravity or due to the weight of the cam again the curve which is starting or the which is the cam is moving uh, in the initially the rise is achieved by the rising surface of the cam but and the return is it will come back because of the weight of the weight or the gravity of the cam that is known as a gravity cam so here it works on the gravity that is it works on the weight of the cam however this cams are not mainly preferred because due to the uncertain behavior why this uncertain behavior is because due to the weight may vary or due to the gravity so the exact uh, form cannot be achieved or the exact motion which is providing from this uh, cam cannot able to be achieved hence this type of uh, cams are normally uh, not preferred much because of its uncertain behavior so these are the uh, three types of uh, cams which is been uh, used by the constraints of from the motion thank you